If you're interested in joining the National Digital Newspaper Program, it may be helpful to understand something about the program, our goals, how it got started, and what you can expect as participants. To understand the origins of the program and why it exists, you need to consider how newspapers fit into American history and the challenges that we as managers of cultural heritage have in collecting and maintaining these important and profuse historical records. Historic newspapers have always been an important documentation of communities in the U.S., whether they cover everyday life, the challenges of war, exotic adventures, the latest fashion, local visitors, vital statistics and legal notices, wonders or disasters. They describe moments in time, significant people, events, and local perspectives. As such, they provide a unique resource for understanding both singular and united voices on ideas, events, and our democratic identity. But newspapers by their nature can be a challenging format to work with. There's lots and lots of them, and they're big and awkward to handle in print, among other things. They also contain such a variety of information, providing any kind of descriptive access can be labor-intensive and difficult. As an important primary source, they have many types of users, political scholars, economists, genealogists, historians, and many other disciplines. Over time, this leads to high demand for access and high risk to original materials, which were never really intended to last in the first place, being printed on poor paper with low-quality ink and frequently distributed on street corners. In the United States, unlike some nations, there's another challenge to working with newspapers to explore history, since the most representative national newspaper collection is one that, rather than located in one place, is distributed across the country in statewide collections at libraries, archives, historical societies, and universities, each collection uniquely representing local, regional, and national history in the voice of its own community. To benefit from that historic record, you need to locate and gain access to these materials scattered around the country. The importance of these historical records for research and the challenges of managing them first led the National Endowment for the Humanities, with technical support from the Library of Congress, to develop a nationwide program in 1982 to identify, describe, preserve, and share the national corpus of American newspapers. The United States Newspaper Program, or USNP as it is called, funded organizations in each state and territory to, for the first time, comprehensively inventory state newspaper holdings, create standard description in a shared catalog, supported by OCLC as the newspaper union list, and selectively microfilm at-risk materials for preservation. Addressing this challenge took time, but this important 30-year program led to the identification and cataloging of more than 140,000 newspapers published in the U.S. and described in a universal directory located around the country more than half a million copies in various formats and microfilmed more than 70 million pages to preservation standards established largely because of the program. It and the advent of the Internet also led to the next step for newspapers, a new program to address the idea that once historic newspapers were identified and preserved, use of the material could be greatly enhanced through digitization technologies, providing search and online access, and building on the previous program's successes. From this idea, in 2004, NEH and the Library of Congress created the National Digital Newspaper Program, leveraging the public investment already made in USNP and the organizational networks it generated by supporting programs in each state and territory to select and digitize a representative amount of material from their collections who are assembled into a national digital newspaper resource at the Library of Congress. The goals of the National Digital Newspaper Program are foremost to enhance access to American newspapers from every state and territory representing their local and regional history in a sustainable national corpus, to apply emerging technologies in digitization and search to the products of USNP and other newspaper resources, to create a shared community of practice for providing basic access to newspapers as digital objects, and finally the program seeks to provide this access freely and openly for any type of research and use. To meet these goals, NEH and LC decided to follow in the steps of USNP with a program that would both enhance access to newspapers and encourage growth and sustainability in digital libraries by developing best practices in digitization and model a technical approach that would scale to millions of digital documents created over several decades. In 2005, NEH made the first NDNP awards to six applying institutions, including the University of Kentucky, sponsor of this site, <coughs> and many more states have joined the program since. Each organization that receives an award has, in their application for funding, demonstrated access to and understanding of their state newspaper collections, digitization experience, and the capacity to support digital library infrastructure suitable to manage a project that creates more than the 5 terabytes of data per award. Each awardee agrees to the following program requirements. NEH provides funding, generally to one institution per state, for two-year projects to select and digitize, mostly from microfilm negatives, approximately 100,000 pages of historic newspapers for full-text access online. The newspapers need to have been published between 1836 and 1922 and are limited to English and several other languages, which we hope will increase over time. 
check the current technical guidelines for those specifics. The resulting digital objects meet NDNP technical specifications and are incorporated into an ever-growing collection hosted by the Library of Congress. As the experts on their regional newspapers, each awardee also agrees to provide a short newspaper history for each title they digitize, and once their project is complete, to deliver the duplicate negative used for digitization to the LC for safekeeping. LC then receives and aggregates the data and makes it available through the Chronicling America website, along with the bibliographic descriptions and holding created over the years by USNP. State projects are free to repurpose the data they create for their own digital libraries and provide their own access, connecting the newspapers to other like material or further enhancing it as they wish. Many states, after their initial award, are also able to apply for supplementary funding that supports additional two-year projects if they demonstrate successful operations in their previous activities and additional content is suitable for selection. Joining the NDNP, you can help build a national treasure full of details and glimpses into the lives of all Americans, from the early days of the Republic to the Roaring Twenties. This critical time in American history saw the democratization of news in local communities, the development of modern warfare, the rise of yellow journalism and advertising, astonishing advances in technology and industry, and the making of the modern newspaper, as well as many other historic events. So if you're interested in applying to NEH for participation in our program, or just want to learn more about newspapers and digital access, come on and explore. Metamorphosis may be just the place to introduce you to the world of historic newspapers and how we can make the most of this amazing record of our American past.